Yes, he is. And of course, you make up a vital part of this discussion. We're going to be opening the lines to chat to you about specifically this morning, testicular cancer, most affecting men between the ages of 15 and 34. Um, but there are ways that we can get early screening in, and that's what Movember is all about. And we're talking to one of the proudest ambassadors who is uh, very um, conspicuously missing a Movember. Um, so I hope you're going to grow it out there. It's growing, <laughs> man. Um, no, Dr. Darren Green, thank you so much for joining thank us. We, we do love these chats. This is a massive one. And I Indeed. think what scared me the most is knowing that testicular cancer affects young men it's not something that's yeah. going to happen to you over your 40s this indeed. is a young man's disease it is indeed and i think a lot of people think that cancer occurs late in your life yeah. until of course you're confronted late in the disease where the early signs of testicular cancer are not picked up uh, because we only develop the symptoms and signs once the disease has actually progressed so routine screening and being aware of what normal is is key here I love this topic and I'm so happy that I'm involved in it as well because I think previously it might have been a little bit of a taboo topic, yeah, things that people didn't want to talk about a lot, but it really does affect everybody, as does breast cancer as correct, well. Correct, um, right. With breast cancer, we talked a lot about what are the signs that we need to be looking out for with, t with testicular cancer and when do you need to go and see the doctor? Exactly. So I think you need to know what normal is to recognize abnormal. Yeah. So you need to understand what the normal contour and feel of an oval-shaped test is. is. So in order to do that, you need to examine yourself after a hot bath or shower mm -hmm. so that you actually understand what normal feels like but generally it presents with a painless mass okay. in other words there's no pain initially just yeah. this pea-sized mass on top of a normal testy okay. uh, that then can progress as as the mass increases in size to cause pain syndromes dull aching pain in the lower abdomen or the groin etc and then a rapid collection of fluid in the scrotal sac is also significant and should also be uh, be checked out quite soon uh, now, I suppose the big question is, how do we conduct self-examination? How often should we be doing this? Yes, once monthly. Uh, so, okay. like we advise women to do a self-examination of the breast once a month, so too should men also at least check once a month. And you know, uh, th it can be a lot of fun, it can be funny between <laughs> partners, as you can imagine. Yeah. And often, uh, uh, testicular cancer is detected by a partner and not actually the person who has the mass. Because we are, as men, so shy to talk about things. Yeah. And there if there's anything stigma, abnormal, yeah. we, we really kind of freak out and, and we're shy about it. We think it, it reflects on our masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just don't disclose it. Yeah. And that's what we want to try and demyth at the moment. That's yeah. what Movember is all about. That is right. Well, we're going to be opening the line for you to give us a shout. 083 Please give us a shout. Pose any of your questions. It is carte blanche this morning. We'd love to, to let... Dr. Darren Green, address your particular issue or question. Well, let's see what else is coming up in the final half hour of the show.